Hey, what's up guys, Mendel here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to record metal guitar solos. So without further ado, let's dig right in. Okay, so here we are uh, in my Cubase project. I'm gonna record the solo over the riffs we recorded in the previous video, so you can hear. And it goes over into a variation of the double kick riff. So that's what I'm going to solo over. So then again, the basics, I got a guitar I'm comfortable playing with, I got new guitar strings, and the thing that might help to clean up your solos is a hairband or a fret wrap. So this reduces all the excess noise you don't need in a solo recording, so that can really help to clean up your takes. So as you can see, I have five tracks here for my solo. The center one is just for the main solo. Left and right is forever when I do a harmony. So I record my harmony on the left one, then another time on the right one. So I get like a really wide stereo image. So in the end, what I'll have, and you'll hear it in the song, is I have the main solo on here. Whenever there's a harmony, I double it on these two. And whenever I wanna do like three note harmonies, I do the extra layer on these two. So that's enough talking, let's record the solo. All right, so I think that's an okay take. Uh, now we'll do the harmonies. So as I said before, I'm gonna record them double, so I get like a wide stereo effect. So let's find a part where a harmony would be cool. <laughs> Okay, so let's do that. So let's do another take. Okay, so that sounds cool. Let's check, just check the stereo wireless in here. That's a cool end. So let's double that. Okay. Let's double that one. Okay, so I think that part that comes after this, the, um, let's say the melody line. I like it how it is, but I think some harmonies could make it a bit more uh, melodramatic. Okay, so... Um... Okay, I got this. Cool. Let's do another one. Okay, so 
Okay, and for demonstration purposes, let's uh, double all of this on these two tracks uh, during the second half. Okay, and the last one. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's take a listen. So, and to, to close off this video, um, I'll solo the guitar so you can really hear how these double-tracked harmonies uh, make the solo sound wider. So you get the idea. Cool, all right. So thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'll go into depth how to mix these solo guitars and make them sound huge and epic. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.